Now, next up is Marvel Studios. Please welcome to the stage, Kevin Feige. Hello, D23. Hi there. Wow. We're going to start with perhaps the biggest thing we've ever done. Ladies and gentlemen, our co-writer and director of Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Ryan Coogler. Uh, it's, a, it's such a pleasure to be on stage with, with, with my uh, Disney family and Kevin and, and so thankful for the opportunity to work on these films and, and thankful for the opportunity to be here with you all today playing the amazing Princess Shiri, daughter of Ramonda, Letitia Wright. Playing the incredible Lord Mbaku of the Jabari tribe, Winston Duke. For the first time, bringing Namor the Submariner to screen, Tenoch Huerta. And last but not least, the incredible Queen Ramonda, Angela Bassett. We had a, a great pleasure to introduce the character Riri Williams, also known as Ironheart. And um, we brought somebody incredibly special to the Disney family, um, playing Parker Robbins, AKA The Hood. Mr. Anthony Ramos. Yo, what up? Yo, D23, what's good, baby? And what kicks off phase five in a very big way is our next film, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. This movie, this is a very big movie. This is a very different kind of a movie. It is a, begins a direct line into phase five, right into the Kang Dynasty. Say hello to Mr. Paul Rudd. Evangeline Lilly. And Kang himself, Jonathan Majors. We're friends in real life. So we actually real like life. each other. We actually do, yeah. This October, which is next month, we are bringing to Disney Plus our very first holiday special. It's a Halloween special called Werewolf by Night. Please welcome the director, Michael Giacchino. Please welcome to the stage the incredible Gael Garcia Barnell and Laura Donnelly. Yeah. Come on, these guys. These guys, they're the best. They're the best. Really excited to be here. Eh, muchísimas gracias también para toda la banda latina que está por aquí también. <laughs> claro que sí, claro. I am so excited for you guys to see it. It's just so thrilling. <laughs> One of the finest actors in the world, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Don Cheadle. We're going to talk about two shows today, and the first one is called Secret Invasion. What's great about Secret Invasion is it rolls right into Don's next series on Disney Plus, The Armor Wars. We've been talking about this for a very long time. It is based in part on a very famous comic series involving Stark armor getting out into the wrong hand. The fans' reaction is great. People are super, super, you know, geeked about it and plugged in, and it just gives you a lot of energy, and it's just a lot of fun. We're making a season two for the first time, and it's a little show called Loki. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> Sophie DiMartino. Mr. Owen Wilson, and introducing into the Loki family the amazing Ki Hui Kwan. You all look fantastic. Um, 
It's such an honor and pleasure to be here, to be back with Loki. Season two picks up where season one left off. Loki is back in the Time Variance Authority. He's had a very difficult conversation, confrontation with Sylvie. And Mobius and Hunter B-15 don't seem to know who he is. It's a little bit like that Talking head song, This Is Not My Beautiful Life. <laughs> this is not, where you're sort of, how did I get here? How, how did I get and here? And everybody asks that question at one time or another. In season two, we're going to answer it. How did I get here? Yes. I'm asking that question right now. <laughs> <laughs> there is a whole um, cast of new and returning characters to explore the ever-expanding and infinitely more dangerous multiverse, um, of which you'll be familiar. Would you say this connects into the whole multiverse saga, Tom? What do you think, Kevin? I would say yes. You would say yes. I would, I would say yes. I would say yes, too. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Season two. We get to do a season two. Yeah. Yeah. We, get to, we get this a guy. Season two is the other new cast member. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, so cool. Get, it's, I'm, I'm so excited. We get Ki Hui yeah. Kwan in season two. And, of course, um, familiar and returning, and also some new characters. But it is amazing. We, I mean, on season one, we had the most extraordinary time. Um, uh, it was a very meaningful experience for all of us. And the response from the audience and from the fans was also very powerful and meaningful for us. Um, it's nice to just give people some more, yeah. answer some questions, and yeah. just, yeah. The story give isn't over. We've got some got more story to tell you know it, it, it's incredible I, I, I you know I, I've watched all the MCU movies it's been a fan of MCU for many years uh, and to be able to join you know uh, to be a member of the MCU and especially because I'm a big fan of Loki season one so to be able to do this it, it's it's been incredible and honestly we're in the thick of shooting right now in London uh, and we're having such a fun time. We're having a great time. It's really hard to describe. It's just so many people. I think there were 7,000 people in the audience today. And I've never spoken in front of that many people before, so it's quite daunting. Yeah. I'm quite nervous walking onto stage. But um, it's just wonderful, the, the reception and the warmth of people towards um, the show and, and Sylvie. Uh, um, it's just been really... Amazing. This so. is a very special show. Please welcome the incredible cast of Echo, Alakwa Cox, <clears throat> Devery Jacobs, Cody Lightning, Chaske Spencer, the incredible Graham Greene, and Vincent D'Onofrio. This show is very special. It's very different, but I have to ask Alakwa, you first appeared in Hawkeye, now you've just wrapped starring in your own show. How does it feel? Oh my gosh. What a journey this has been. This is only my second role I've ever had, and now I've become a lead. It's just so crazy to me. It's not that easy, but I'm so lucky to have amazing co-stars that were able to, able to help me through along the way of this giant journey I did. So thank you guys so much for all of your help. I couldn't have done anything without your guys' guidance. But really, this is such an amazing feeling to only be my second lead. It's great. I notice, uh, I notice you're still standing out here, sir. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, well, I think that, I think that you, you, aren't you supposed to talk about my show or? Wait, your show? I, th I think you mean my show. Ladies and gentlemen, Charlie Cox, Daredevil, born again, coming to Disney Plus. Yeah, it's really overwhelming, you know. Um, it's I, I we never got to come here before when we were making the show in the past, and so to now be invited here and to get to share this news that we have that we're going to come back and we're going to make the show again. It's really uh, it's really a special moment, um, and uh, you know I, I I never thought this day would come, so it's thrilling. I mean, what a new challenge. Um, I don't know what the show's going to be like. I don't know what the tone's going to be like. I haven't read anything yet, but. It's a really fun, exciting challenge. I'm, I feel very grateful that I'm, I've been included um, and, and invited. 
you know, so I, I can't wait to kind of get stuck back in again. You know? uh, it was on this stage, the last D23, that we announced we were doing a show called The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And in that show, you all learned that there's a new Captain America. His name is Sam Wilson. And now he's coming to the big screen in our upcoming film, Captain America, New World Order. Please welcome to the stage our director, Julia Sana, Captain America himself, Mr. Anthony Mackey. From the show, we have Danny Ramirez. We have the incredible Carl Lumley returning. Unable to join us today, but we've cast a new character. Uh, the actress's name is Shira Haas. She's playing an amazing Marvel character named Sabra for the first time in the MCU. And for the first time in 14 years, coming back to the MCU, the incredible actor Tim Blake Nelson as the leader. It's amazing, man. I'm, um, I'm nervous. I'm excited. It's, um, you know... It's, it's everything I expected it to be. Um, the, the script is amazing, the cast is amazing. My man D Nice coming back and roll with me. My man Shaggy Cole coming through. Now we're bringing Nasty Tim in here. It's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> uh, it's amazing. I, um, I, it's, it's all, I've always come out as a secondary character in a movie. It's really humbling to come out as the lead character for the first time in a movie, being in this universe for so long. It was stunning. Uh, for one thing, I, you, you get a little myopic when you first go on stage, so I saw the audience in front of me, and then slowly as we were there, it widened out to that crowd of people, that sea of people, that, that universe of people. It was wonderful. Feeling that energy, because it's so, it, like, everyone's giving the, all their attention and all their, like, the positive vibes are just being so excited about the, uh, this new project that, like, that kind of took me by surprise of like just feeling walking into that wave of energy and so um i'm just i was beaming the entire time i was just like this is nuts i'm here with captain america new world ruler and i'm here with anthony mackey and the entire crew he's sam wilson our new captain america and it's just so exciting to be able to take this story in a new direction and you know danny ramirez and carl lumbly and tim blake nelson we've got a brilliant cast and company of actors so uh, it's going to be a really, really wild ride and exciting movie. The Thunderbolts are finally coming to the screen, and they are a ragtag bunch, and I want you to meet them. Starting with our director, Mr. Jake Schreier. Jake. I also want you to say hi to Julia Louis Dreyfus, who's playing Valentina Allegra de Fontaine. We've got the return of David Harbour as the Red Guardian. From Ant-Man and the Wasp, Hannah John Common as Ghost. Wyatt Russell is back as John Walker, AKA US Agent. Not here with us today, but Olga Kirilenko is back as Taskmaster. Yelena Belova is back. And I am uh, extremely excited to announce, also joining the Thunderbolts, Sebastian Stan. James Bucky Barnes. I'm really excited about this director, Jake. Uh, he's a really smart dude, and I know what we've seen of the script and what they're working on is really exciting. It, it, it'll prove to be, hopefully, a really funny, yeah. entertaining movie with, like, you know, a hell of a lot of action, as is per, par for the course for these movies. Uh, but I think it'll be unique in the MCU in the sense that it's, like, you know, it's got a very different flavor to it than these other movies. I just think the Thunderbolts are an exciting opportunity to take these characters that have been seen in a certain light and kind of bring them together and through coming together possibly view them in another light. I think that's a really exciting challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, the director of the Marvels, Nia DaCosta. Kamala Khan herself, Miss Marvel, Iman Vellani. From WandaVision, Monica Rambeau, Tiana Paris. And your Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers, Miss Brie Larson. Yeah! 
This is, this is, this is the big finale. The yes. first time the three of them been together on stage, the first time any of them been to D23. And Aman, is this the first time you've been in front of 7,500 fans? Give or take, yeah. <laughs> Incredible. I had such an amazing time with these beautiful women, inside and out. I learned so much, and it was really nice to have a team. I had a team. It's really exciting. It just being at work and being surrounded by so many cool women on and off camera, and the fact that this is my second job, and I've been lucky enough to work with crazy talent, and Nia Costa is a powerhouse and literally brings out all the nuances and emotional complexities in our character that we didn't even know we had in these action scenes. And so I think it's really driving the MCU in a different direction and this movie is gonna be hopefully quite refreshing for everyone to see. You get, you're surrounded by a world of blue and things happen and I'm like, Nia, what are, what's happening right now? Like, what, do I, what am I looking at? So to see the trailer and see the world come together was really exciting and also the characters, you know, that's been really fun. I'm just excited to get three heroes that I love together, see how they work together, see their teamwork, and see them become a team, basically, um, which is always kind of my favorite thing about big team-up movies or Avengers or things like that. So um, it's going to be great because they all have their individual powers, and it's really exciting to watch them grow and figure it out.